everybody, Seth from Brookstone Financial. Today's video is for all you do-it-yourselfers out there. Maybe you've been eyeballing that favorite stock of yours and you're thinking, you know what, Now's, now may be the time to enter that stock. Well, let me give you an idea of a way to enter that stock to try to get the best possible price on your stock. Now, at Brookstone, we manage money on three major platforms, Fidelity, TD Ameritrade, and Charles Schwab. So if you're looking for professional investment management, we can absolutely help you uh, on any of those three platforms. But again, if you're a do-it-yourselfer, and again, you've been eyeballing that stock, now might be the time to buy, okay? So we're gonna use ABC stock as an example. And let's say that ABC stock today, just hypothetically, is trading around $12 a share. Okay, if you go into that stock on what's called a market order, it's going to execute at the current share price, whatever that stock is trading at today. A potentially better way to enter that stock may be by utilizing a limit order. Here's one of the first things that you may wanna look at. In particular, with the last two, three weeks being extremely volatile, I would encourage you to go back and look at the trading range over the last two to three weeks. And you're gonna see something that looks, you know, probably a lot like that. A lot of volatility over the last two to three weeks. But what you're looking for is, is what's called a resistance level, and then down here on the bottom, what's called a support level. So try to visually uh, just try to establish a resistance and a support. Now what we're looking for as a potential entry point is when this stock price falls near the support or maybe below the support. Now let's say in this example we say our support or bottom uh, price point here is in the uh, $10 range and on the high end we're going to say this is $14. Okay so Here's near the $10 range. This is up near maybe $13.50. Uh, actually, this may be like $10.50 and this line representing $10 per share. So if you enter a limit order, a limit order is simply saying, look, if at any point in time throughout the trading day, this stock trades at $10 a share, I want in, I want to buy, okay? So you can, you can set or enter in any of the three platforms I just mentioned, TD Ameritrade, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, and many others, uh, you can enter a limit order. In this example, we're gonna use a buy limit order because we want to enter the position. And we want to enter if it drops below or at $10 per share. So it's trading along, stocks going throughout the day, it breaks that plane. Automatically and electronically, the system is going to pick up the shares for you at that $10 mark, okay? That's, that's what's called a limit order. Now you can do the same thing on the sell side. Let's say you enter here and you own the stock. You have to actually own the stock to enter the sell limit. So you enter a sell limit order that if, if that stock uh, meets or exceeds $14 a share, you automatically want out. Uh, we've all got better things to do than sit and watch the TV uh, and trade day to day. The weather's been decent here lately. So take this time to enjoy time with your friends and your family. We'll help you with the finance. Uh, but this is a great idea. Again, there's gonna be some buying opportunities out there in the very near future. Uh, the best time to shop is when things are on sale and there's probably a lot of sales on stock going on right now. So again, this is Seth Stewart from Brookstone Financial. If you want more information, you want to learn more about Brookstone Financial, visit us online, brookstonefinancial.com. Give our office a call. We offer complimentary consultations. If you just want to pick our brain and get an idea of what stocks we like right now, what opportunities do we see in the marketplace, again, give us a call, 812 288-9000. That's 812-288-9000. Even though we are working remotely, uh, we are available for conference calls, Zoom meetings, screen share meetings, etc. So we'll see you here next week at Brookstone Financial.